Hi and welcome to the Damalak Cookery Channel. So the recipe I want to do for you today is crumpets. Definitely a firm favourite in Britain, especially at breakfast time. As usual, a full list of ingredients will be given at the end of the video. So let's have a look at those ingredients now and anything else we're going to need for today. So the ingredients for the crumpet mix, really simple. I've got 200 grams of bread flour. Now all purpose flour will do, but if you can get a stronger flour, that'll be better. Half a teaspoon of baking powder or baking soda. Half a teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of sugar. One seven gram sachet of fast action dried yeast. It's about a teaspoonful. And 300 milliliters of fluid. This is made up of 150 milliliters of hot water, not boiling, and 150 milliliters of cold milk to produce a lukewarm solution. So as usual, the first thing we do with anything like this is add all of the dry ingredients together first, just to make sure that everything gets well combined. So once we've combined all of the dry ingredients, the next thing to do is to add our liquid. And we want to add all of the liquid, but just a little bit at a time. I'm using a hand whisk. You can use an electric whisk. I just need the exercise before Christmas. And just do this until all of the lumps have gone out of the mixture. Okay, what we'll end up with is this smooth, almost like a thick batter. So the next thing to do now is I'm going to cover this with cling film or food wrap, leave it in a warm place within the house for 45 minutes, and then I'll show you the next step from there. So once our crumpet mixture has been fermenting for 45 minutes, this is what it looks like. So it's doubled in size. I've got a pan with about two tablespoons of olive oil in there, bringing that up to heat. And we've also got a couple of rings as well, some crumpet rings. Very important with these crumpet rings that we coat the inside with olive oil thoroughly just to make sure that the mixture doesn't stick. So we do that to both. So once we've got the pan up to temperature, I'm just going to add some of this mixture to each one. So you want to fill the rings about halfway. Okay, and then we cook these very gently. What we don't want to do is to burn the underside of the actual crumpet. So we'll come back to these in about three or four minutes and I'll show you how they're progressing. Okay, so we're three or four minutes into the cooking process now. We're starting to see these large holes appear, which is obviously a signature of crumpets. Also, the mixture is starting to shrink away from the sides of the rings and also it starts to go dull as well. So when it goes dull on the surface, we know that that part is cooked. So we're going to wait until at least a third working from the outside in has gone dull and we've got these large holes uh, over the entire surface of the crumpet. Then we're going to take the rings off and then flip the crumpet over and cook for another two or three minutes. So these have been cooking now for about seven, seven to eight minutes. It's time to turn them over. So this one's fine. This one's stuck a little bit around the outside edge. These are quite old rings. So I've just got a thin knife and just gone around the outside just to free it. If we take the actual rings off and then turn these over. We can afford to turn the heat up a little bit and then these should take no more than two to three minutes just to toast on the uh, uncooked side and then they'll be ready to serve. So 
So I can guarantee once you've made crumpets at home, you will never go back to buying those horrible doughy crumpets that they sell at the supermarket. Please subscribe to this channel and as usual, if you've enjoyed this particular video, hit the like button. Thank you very much for watching.